gunfire, flames, chaos. A lot of the nightclubs, a lot of the strip joints, a lot of the restaurants are now under cartel influence. Mexico has since dispatched hundreds of National Guardsmen to patrol the beaches up and down its Atlantic coast. Many people warned us against visiting Mexico. Texas urged people not to travel to Mexico as it isn't safe. Canada also updated the travel warnings. The president of Mexico recently declared that Mexico is safer than the U.S. This was after four innocent American tourists were kidnapped by a drug cartel. Two of them were eventually killed. So is it true? Should you avoid traveling to Mexico? Is Mexico safer than the U.S.? What the stats say. Statistically speaking, if you visit the U.S. or Mexico, you are likely going to be safe. With over 66 million visitors to Mexico a year, only a very few are going to encounter any trouble. However, it is true that violent crime, such as homicides, kidnapping, carjacking, and robbery, is widespread in Mexico. I have put links in the description for all of the data I will be referring to. I suggest you check the links for the most up-to-date information as things are always changing. So, is Mexico safer than the U.S.? One of the best sources for safety data is the Global Peace Index. They analyze 23 different factors to determine which countries are the safest. From their 2022 analysis, it shows that the U.S. is safer than Mexico. Out of 163 countries, they rank Canada as the 12th safest, the U.S. as 129th, and Mexico ranks 137th. The World Bank has also compiled data on intentional homicides. Their latest data from 2020 shows two intentional homicides per 100,000 people per year in Canada versus seven in the U.S. and 28 in Mexico. These rankings, however, are at the country level, but it isn't really useful to paint an entire country with one brush. When you break it down, some places in Mexico, like Merida, are safer than some places in the U.S., like St. Louis. Likewise, some places in the U.S. are safer than some places in Mexico. So how do you determine the level of risk when determining where to travel? First, you should check the travel advisories issued by your country. Many governments, including the U.S. government, the Canadian government, and the U.K. government have websites where you can get current updates about the safety of travel. For example, here is a map of travel advisories issued by the U.S. government in April 2023. You can see that six of the Mexico's 26 states are red and they recommend that you do not travel to these areas. Another seven states are orange, which means you should reconsider travel to these areas. Personally, we would not travel to places rated do not travel or to places marked reconsider travel. We did, however, decide to travel to Mexico City, Tulum, and Playa del Carmen, which are all rated as exercise increased caution, marked on the map in yellow. For comparison, this is the same rating given to the Netherlands, Spain, and the UK. The 2022 Mexico Peace Index is another source for information about which areas are safer than others. It, however, isn't updated as often as the travel advisories. Can you trust the crime stats? Crime statistics are likely underreported not just in Mexico, but also in the U.S. Political pressures and funding pressures to show police effectiveness have the effect of reducing crime rates in all countries. For example, the FBI produces an annual crime report for the U.S. that depends on data submitted from police departments. Their most recent report was missing data from over 30% of the nation's police departments, including New York and Los Angeles. That makes it very hard to compare one place to another. Not all crimes are reported. When in Mexico we were scammed at a gas station, we gave the attendant a 200 peso bill. When we looked away for a second, he pocketed the 200 and showed us a 20, a motion that we didn't give him enough money. We argued that we gave him 200, but he just shook his head and showed us the 20. We decided just to give in because the environment did not feel safe, and we didn't feel like reporting it would get us anywhere. This was just a minor crime, but it's just an example of how we didn't have faith in the system, and how some crimes aren't reported and won't be reflected in the stats. These are our subjective opinions based solely on our personal experiences. Please do your own research. If you have your own experiences or opinions, please share them in the comments below and let's get a discussion started. Every place we went in Mexico, the National Guard was patrolling with massive guns. 
Even in the small laid-back beach town of Puerto Morelos, we saw a tent set up with dozens of officers. And when we walked up Fifth Avenue in Playa del Carmen, there were drug dogs sniffing us as we walked by. Reading the newspaper during our travels added to our concerns. It didn't help that as we were preparing to visit, a cartel leader was arrested and violence broke out. Two airports were shut down and people were advised not to leave their homes or hotels. Some tourists were stuck in Mazatlan. Shootouts erupted between heavily armed cartel members and the Mexican armed forces. Then, when we were in Playa del Carmen, four inspectors were violently killed when visiting a bar to check their compliance with local codes. The inspectors had just been doing their jobs. Their role is to enforce problems with illicit businesses, illegal drug sales, and to prevent the beachfront restaurants from taking over the beach zone. The killing occurred at a place we had walked by earlier in the day. If something like that had happened in Canada, it would have been huge news, but there, it just seemed like another day. Then, after we got home, four people were found dead near a hotel in the tourist area of Cancun. All of these things happening around the time of our trip have certainly influenced our perceptions. Now, Mexico has been plagued by cartel-related violence and corruption for decades. Cartels are criminal organizations that are involved in the production, distribution, and smuggling of illegal drugs, primarily fentanyl. These drugs are often destined for the United States, where they are in high demand. The Mexican cartels have been operating for many years and become increasingly powerful and violent over time and have acquired high-power military-grade weaponry. These organizations are known for their use of extreme violence, including murder, kidnappings, and torture, to further their criminal activities. They have also been known to bribe officials and use corruption to further their goals. It isn't just drugs either. I've also put a link in the description to a YouTube video about extortions and kidnappings in the avocado trade. Clashes between cartels over territory, drugs, and smuggling routes are common. Mexico has an underfunded, corruption-riddled justice and law enforcement system that has a poor record in solving crimes. We heard that many businesses are expected to pay bribes for protection. Another YouTuber, Cool RuPaul, even produces cards that you can take with you to hand to policemen when they try to get a bribe from you. Safety Tips The U.S. and Canadian travel advisory links linked above have lots of great and very extensive information about staying safe specific to the location you are traveling to. Just a forewarning though, after reading through all the warnings, you'll almost be convinced not to leave your house. Before you book a trip, check the travel advisories and register your trip before you go so that your government can contact you and provide information if there are any emergencies. If they advise not to travel somewhere, go somewhere else. It isn't worth it. Don't be flashy. Leave expensive things at home. Use toll roads when possible. Don't discuss travel plans, your room number, or any other personal information with an earshot of strangers. Never leave food or drinks unattended or in the care of strangers. And cover the keypad with one hand when entering your PIN at ATMs or when using a credit card. So will we go back to Mexico? Before I tell you, please do me a favor and hit subscribe. It will really help us out and you can follow along with us as we visit other cities to try to find the best place to live. So, will we go back to Mexico? Yes, we will definitely go back to Mexico, as millions and millions of tourists travel there without incident. In fact, we are itching to return to Mexico City. And only a very few are going to encounter any trouble. There are so many things we love about Mexico, and we are still considering it as a place to live. You just can't beat the combination of a short flight, the best food we have ever eaten, lots of culture, and warm weather. We will, however, check the current travel advisories before traveling, follow safety guidelines, and avoid places that feel unsafe. In my next video, I will be letting you know what we thought about Playa del Carmen. In the meantime, check out these other cities here.